Welcome to No More Risk. Today I'd like to talk to you about impairments to fire protection systems. There is no more vulnerable time than when that fire protection has to be disabled. So it's important that we pay attention to four key guiding principles. The first is communication. Make sure that everyone inside the organization knows about the impairment. The fire service is notified, the alarm company is notified, and FM Global. We want to help you through that time. Second is minimize the area that's affected. Third, minimize the hazard in that area that's impaired. Fourth, minimize the time the impairment has to exist. And if we abide by these, we'll get through this safely without bad things happening. Now FM Global has devised a tool the red tag permit system, and it highlights all the relevant steps and precautions that you should take before, during, and after that impairment. And when it's all over, you close the loop by communicating with those same folks that you did in the beginning. One of the tools in the red tag permit system is the red tag itself. And it's intended on one side to record all the salient information for the particular system that's being shut down. And then the tag is intended to be hung on the valve that's actually closed. And it says, fire protection out of service. It's an indicator and a reminder that this system is impaired. So I've just given you the quick overview, the four guiding principles, communication, minimizing the area, minimizing the hazard, minimizing the time. FM Global offers a one-hour online training course that goes into all of these details before, during, and after. Now, whenever we impair fire protection systems in these No More Risk videos to demonstrate various maintenance and testing techniques, you'll note that we use the red tag system. And the valve that is closed has this tag hanging on it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on No More Risk.